about 23 miles west of Macon, just off Highway 36, sits Buckland, Missouri. For 18-year-old Neil Smith, it's roughly 4,500 miles from his home in Edinburgh, Scotland. Any similarity between the two cities? Well, they are both about a 45-minute drive from Glasgow, but that's probably where the similarities end. So Neil went from Edinburgh, population 421,000, to Buckland, population 616? The pace of life's a little slower than where I come from in a big city. It's a lot different, like uh, going out to cut wood and stuff like that. Deer hunting, we don't do any of that. We have like electric heat and there's no deer hunting where I come from. It was Carl and Julia Jackson who would take Neil in as a member of the family. So my first question was, does he speak English? And they said yes, and then we asked his name, and they said Neil Smith. And I said, how much more common can you get than Smith and Jackson? As American as his name was his sport, basketball? Well, in Scotland, basketball is not a very big sport, so like a minor sport like, like soccer is over here, I suppose. It's so minor, in fact, there was no high school basketball team for Neil to play on in Scotland. He played on a local club team with just one practice and one game a week. So you think the adjustment would have been tough for the six foot four Scott, but after averaging 20 points and 11 rebounds a game, maybe it's his opponents who need to adjust. And as Buckland coach Terry Luster points out, much like the Jackson family, Neil's teammates have taken him in as well. If we've got a good basketball player that can come in and help us win basketball games, uh, they seem to take a liking to him and everyone's adjusted pretty well. And what does Neil think of his new surroundings? I like it. It's a lot different. It's a very different way of life, but I'm enjoying myself over here. I like America. I like it a lot. From a country where there's no televised basketball to one where a driveway almost isn't complete without a basketball goal, Neil Smith may have found his sport half a world away. Robert Land, News Center 8 Sports, Buckland.